AI botsman spot it. Here we go. It's a full blown charge here. Uh, oh! Oh, he took its wing off. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Scrap Mechanic. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today we were back with another Creations episode. So today we've got a pretty wide variety of creations and I think we're gonna start off with something that I'm pretty sure I'm going to fail horribly at. Uh, we're gonna try to do an AI dogfight. So on the left side there, it's by Entropy. We've got the Banshee, which we'll go over it here in a second. And on the right side, we have a World War I uh, plane by Mr. I'm not gonna say his name yet. I'm gonna look at the lift because I get it wrong every time. So we're gonna be checking out these creations. I've got some others to check out here today. Uh, they will be linked down in the description if you wanna download any of the creations that you see in today's episode. And if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel and let's do this. Tchaikovsky? Tchaikovsky? Or Tchaikovsky? I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. But yeah, uh, World War I plane. He, we actually checked out last episode. Uh, we had another one of his little mini planes, which was actually really, really good. So, uh, we've got the PTO Banshee here. <laughs> this thing, uh, I haven't activated it yet, but it's made by Entropy, and yeah. That's the AI bots we like to try to play with that try to kill me. So, I don't know how a flying one would work, but we're about to, uh, see here. Uh, okay. It's buttons on its butt. Okay, so, click. Uh, what's it doing? Does it... Does it li Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. Does that seriously lift and chase me? How am I supposed to get in a plane and get the heck away from it? Whoa! That's actually impressive. That thing is gonna murder me. Uh, okay, okay, you can calm down, calm down. I know you're really excited to shoot me. Oh, I love these AI bots, by the way. Oh, these are fun to play with. All right, let's go ahead and set this thing down. Aim it that way. All right, you done? How am I supposed to actually be able to fire against that? How many guns is that? It's way too many. All right, let's go ahead and get over to the World War I uh, plane real quick. And I'm going to test it out and make sure I can fly it. And then I'm going to probably just get completely blown up. Uh, maybe we'll have to get like an AA gun or something out. Uh, yeah, because I don't think I have a chance here. Oh, this is neat. All right, so this is, uh, I believe it's WASD. And then once your spuds, actually it's got four guns on it. It's not bad. And then that's going to be your acceleration, so let's go. Oh, that flies so nice. I love this WASD mod. Uh, yeah, it flies pretty similar to the last one. You know, if I can keep my distance from it, I feel like I have a little bit of a chance, but I'm probably screwed. So let's go ahead and just test the plane out for a little bit, because as soon as I start getting hit by spuds, I'm going to panic and probably crash, or I'm going to crash now. Okay, so this one needs a little... Oh, no, wrong one. Uh, this one needs a little bit more uh, turning room and banking, pitching, and everything else. Uh, the little mini one was actually really maneuverable. This one feels good. It just feels like it takes a little bit more time uh, to rotate. So, kind of glad we actually tested this thing out. Uh, let's see if we can lift here. Oh, I hope I can get over all that stuff. This is so cool. Now, uh, it did say that this was meant for... Uh, multiplayer so this is a pretty basic plane there's only two bearings on it so you could really probably do some awesome dog fights plus it's not too fast so it really feels like you would actually be able to fight and not just fly around each other attempting to hit each other and really just crashing into the ground half the time all right we are coming in for a landing here let's see if komodo can pull off a landing i think i can actually all right here we go we're coming down oh, 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 look at that Look at that. That was beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna have to take off running as soon as I uh, activate the uh, AI plane. Am I stuck? Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh, there we go. Nope, up, oh, still stuck. Ah, eject. I think it's, uh, can I cut one of these blocks? Is that, is that safe? Let's cut that one. Oh, not that, and cut this one. There we go. All right, here we go. Oh boy, I am going to die. Maybe I should stick it further. No, because I need to run to the plane. Uh, okay, make sure you are aimed completely opposite of me. So let's go, boom, okay. Get that out of your system real quick. Oh man, I'm gonna be murdered. All right, here we go. Uh, run, 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 run. Oh, come on, come on, get in, get in. 
Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, it's turning. It's turning. Okay, we're up in there. We made it. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, this is not even fair. Oh, we're we're already losing probably valuable parts. Oh, that is amazing. It's actually chasing us. I wonder how many of these we could get away with spawning. Uh, do we have a version that maybe could they fight each other? That'd be cool. Okay, so I'm actually, uh, I believe I'm a little faster than it. So let's go and activate our one here. And we're gonna, gonna take it low. We're gonna come back at it here. Uh, we are having a dog fight with AI and scrap mechanic. What in the heck? Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Oh, uh, look at all the spuds that are coming off it. That is insane. Uh oh. Okay, let's take it low. All right. Oh, we're getting close to each other here. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't even feel like I have a chance here. Okay, keep going, keep going. Okay, we need to get some speed here. So let's go down. Oh, it's still hitting me. Uh oh, I'm pulling now. It's pulling to the side. I think it blew off a wing part. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Ah, I can't get it up. I'm going down. I think I'm going down here. Nope, I'm going down. All right, we might need to get another plane out. Come on, keep moving. Come on, have some mercy. Have some mercy, please. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, shut it off. All right, we need to find some cover. Oh, it's coming in. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that is so entertaining. Wait, get yourself stuck in the tree. Yes. All right, we got a chance here. Uh, let's get another plane out. Come on. Uh, no, no, not the banshee. I don't want another one of these things out. Uh, okay, boom. Uh, okay. Oh, boy. We might have a chance here, folks. Uh, get in. All right. Oh, no, there's trees everywhere. All right, come on. We need to go straight vertical, basically. Uh, I think it's stuck. We have a chance. It's bad that we have to have it get stuck in a tree for me to have a chance, but yeah. All right, we're flying through the cliff areas. We've lost it, I think. Is it behind me? No, I don't see it anymore. It's not above me, is it? All right, we're coming back around. Oh, there it is! Oh, okay. No, let's send it back through the cliff. All right, actually, let's go. Let's go right now. Oh yeah, man, this uh, this plane actually makes it look like I'm decent at flying. That's amazing. All right, let's go this way. All right, I have lost. I've lost the AI bot. Where is it? Um. Okay. AI bot's been spotted. Here we go. It's a full-blown charge here. Uh, oh! Oh, we took its wing off. Okay. All right. Hold on. Quit firing. Okay. Let's get some speed again. We're going to go down here. Oh. <laughs> this is so cool. I highly suggest downloading these two things and having some fights. All right. Where'd it go? Uh. On. Oh, where did it go? Uh, did it go down? Wait, I, I hear it firing. Did, I think it went down. Uh, there's a piece down there. That's a piece of the wing. Folks, I think we won. Oh, no, we didn't win. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, get firing again. Let's uh, pick up some speed. Oh, buddy. This is fun. This is really fun. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and start firing. Oh, I don't know if I can do this vertical like this. Oh boy! Oh, I'm losing. Oh, and we gotta pick up speed again. Ah. Okay, let's go through here. Uh. Man, this is like the coolest combination I've ever played with. Uh, come on! I can't get any speed right now. Oh no, that's a tree. Ah, come on! Come on! No, 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 no! Don't flip! All right, speed! Back up! Back up! Can I get it to flip? No, oh, I might be down. I might be down here. All right, you know what? Uh, we gotta go for it here. Let's get the gun out. Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh, and let's see if we can just try to try to knock it out of the sky here. It is extremely ticked off, I think. Uh, no! We're having a battle. I need to get out, like, one of the spud guns. Oh, it's coming down. Oh, man. Oh, and let's see if we can separate its wing. There it goes. Wing separated. It still flies. Oh, and can we separate the back piece? Uh, come on, right there. There's got to be a weak point or something in it. Something that explodes, hopefully. <laughs> oh, we are dead. We are just absolutely dead. I think the AI bot won. I thought we had a chance. Like, I really thought it went down there for a second, but it did not. 
Yep, the same. I think even the propeller is trying to murder me. Alright, alright, you win. Come on. That is incredible, though. Like, that is... That is completely awesome. Wow. You know, I really do think we could do something multiplayer with this. Like, maybe spawn about three of these in the air. And maybe we'll do three versus three dogfights. I'll talk to the boys on that one. That could be fun. Uh, because I'm getting no lag with it right now. And I don't know if really spawning in that many more is going to produce that much more lag. All right. I could probably do that all episode, but I really feel like we should probably move on to the next thing. So do keep in mind there is more AI bots. Uh, we're not going to check out any more this episode, but I'm pretty sure we'll uh, we'll pull out some more of these here soon. There's like a lot of cool stuff here. All right, so on to the next creation. Uh, we've got an Oath Broken Valkyrie, which I believe I'm saying that right. It's Lady Skelebro here. Uh, he's got the lore set up. Lady Skelebro is probably one of the best, like, ship creators, and I know I say it probably every, every episode, but I absolutely love the spaceships that are on this workshop. So, we're gonna be checking this bad boy out here. Actually, I'm gonna read a bit of the lore real quick, because I want to figure out what type of ship this is. Like, there is a wide variety of ships on that workshop from, like, battle... Well, actually, I see guns on here. But yeah, you've got ships with guns on them, cargo ships, luxury ships... So, let's see, this PTO creation, uh, let's go up here. Alright, so this is a multi-purpose vehicle from what I can see. There's large cargo areas, you can store medium-sized vehicles in it. So, yeah, buddy. Let's see here. Why is there... Okay, I see explody tanks in the side. Is there a, uh, did I miss something about that? Uh, yeah, okay, this is actually destructible. Oh! Well, that's kind of cool. I think it's kind of a first for these creations. All right, so let's go ahead, open this up here. Ah, there we go. Oh, look at the side gunners. Are those side gunners? Wait, what are these? Uh, sensor range. What? Oh, and we're going to have to do a little bit of playing around here. I like the way this looks. All right, so I can see here's the interior. This is probably where the crew sits. So you got storage here. I believe the side compartments open up and maybe the gunners can actually shoot out the side. So, in theory, yes, you could do this in multiplayer. Uh, what is this? Let's go ahead and start hitting some buttons here. I like buttons. Okay, that's the back door. Okay, that's not connected. That's not connected. All right, so we got that. Got your storage here. This looks like a little armory. You got, like, tools ready to go. Very cool looking. Uh, let's go up into here. Comes around to the front. This looks like control panels. I just like to light all the buttons up. All right, so are we driving from the left or the right? It might be either or. Oh, let's go ahead and jump into the cockpit here. All right, uh, I think I might need to be on the other side. So that's the gunner. Do I have control? Yeah, I've got control over the gun with WASD. So you got that front turret. Ooh, this has got to be cool. Maybe a. Man, I don't know why we don't do more challenges or more multiplayer videos with like spaceships and stuff. I really do think you guys would like that. So, all right. So one, I'm assuming, is the back cargo door. The camera's a little funny here. I believe it is. All right. So here we go. So five appears to be a gyro. So you can see some of the uh, the logic blocks, which they're not all logic. I see like a WASD block there too. Yeah. So it's keeping itself completely stable. That's actually really really cool. So one is like a VTOL control. That'll make it to where it'll go forward. But I think we can go WASD for the driving, too. Okay, so there's there's A and D. Wow, that is actually really, really nice. Like, it makes it even easier to control here. So, let's go ahead and hit 6. So, now we're moving forward. So, 3 and 4, I was wrong. 3 is actually your climbing. So, we're actually uh, gaining altitude right now. So, we got that. We're going to jump in one of those uh, back gunners here in a second. And see what that's all about. This is cool. It kind of feels like either a, a military ship or maybe even like a mercenary ship or something. Uh, I like it. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's stop going along here. Go and slow it down. There we go. Okay. So, of course, you can control the gun on the bottom, which is nice. Uh, you could probably, in theory, I mean, there's no lag here with this thing. Probably spawn two of these and have a battle since it does have the, uh, the weak points, like the little gas containers. That would be pretty epic, I think. Hold on, let's jump back here. Let's get down. Okay, so let's jump into one of these real quick. So if I hit one, see, that just makes it... Hold on, there's a way to open. Oh! Wait, 
So, is there a sensor? So, all you have to do to open up the side gunners is hit S. So, we'll have something like this. So, boop, look at that. It opens up. Oh, let's go in first person. Oh, that is pretty awesome. Check that out. So, yeah, you could have a full crew. I would say at least four people here. So, you got the two side gunners, the front gunner, and the pilot. Man, if you had eight people here, you could battle two of these bad boys side by side. That would be awesome. Man, that's cool. All right, so we'll hit W and watch. It'll just fold back, and then you're good to go again. That is... Wow, I'm, like, blown away right now. I've got a big grin on my face. I'm happy. We need to invite some people over and have some fun now. <laughs> oh, boy. You know, I kind of want to hit one of those weak points. Are those exposed from the inside? I don't believe they are. So, when they say that this thing is destructible, is it just the weak points? Well, let's get the gun out. Okay, so it is weak points. So, say this thing has armor... And you really just have to aim for said weak points. Uh, how do we want to do this? I might want to... Let me go ahead and lower it down to the ground a bit. Let's go ahead and turn it. Actually, I'm in the wrong one. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it. We've got an open field. I'll have it low enough. That way I can hopefully catch it uh, when it starts to go down. Let's go ahead and hit four here. There we go. All right, we're starting to go down. Let's go ahead and hit six. I'm going to move forward just a bit here. This thing is so easy to fly. I cannot like begin to tell you how easy this is for me to pilot like the other ones were always pretty easy but this thing with the gyro in it now is really awesome actually real quick we can go and hit the uh, other mode so that just actually gives you some natural forward thrust when you're in the one mode uh, okay so let's go ahead and go let's go forward a little bit we got a little more open area right here okay and let's start to go down all right Let's see, am I going to be able to see the side ones from here? Okay, that... Let's go up a little bit. That's probably okay right there. Alright, so let me hop out. It's kind of cool how stable this thing is. You can actually walk around in it while it's uh, in air. Uh, actually, let's hit the two. There we go. This would be a cool way to deploy troops. Just kind of hop out the back here. I like that. Alright, so... This looks close enough to the thruster that it would lose it. Question is, does the gyroscope, does it actually keep it up? Say if it loses a piece. So we go, boom. Oh, nope, that is definitely a weak. No, it's, uh, it's debatable if that would keep. No, I don't think it's going to keep itself up. I think we're going to kill ourselves here. Uh, let's see if we can find the bottom one. Come on. Ah, it just flipped on us. All right, you know what? We need to blow out the other side. I had to say goodbye to it. Let's see. Is there just three points? So you got this side one here. Oh, that one. Oh, wow, that was a big aggressive hit there. Uh, there's one on the bottom, so let's go ahead and hit that real quick. And then we will uh, inspect the damage here. So let's go up, and let's go... I don't want to stand too close to this one. There we go. Nope. There we go. And boom! Oh, there's another one here. And boom! <laughs> that's cool. You know, I think it... Wow, that was right below the cockpit. That was, uh, that's pretty close. I do think it would stand maybe if the top and the or the bottom ones got hit, but I don't know. Those side ones, those really make it go sideways. That is cool. All right, so I think we're going to cool our jets here with one more creation. We have one by Garbuckle3000, which we've played Battleship on, the, uh, on Scrap Mechanic before with big boards, but this is a true classic edition of Battleship. This will be something that we would actually buy in the store. So, here's how to play it. One, click the bottom board space to place your ships. The sizes are listed at the side. So, okay. So, once the player has placed their ships, take turns firing shots using the top board. Okay, so this is basically really just Battleship. Uh, once you've sunk a ship, click the point on the buttons at the top to win. First to sink all five ships wins. I know this is a, a little weird for me to play by myself, but we just want to check this out. Oh, that made a big noise. Oh man, this is really just like classic Battleship. That is cool. So, technically, you've got five ships here. Uh, let's see, there's your pegs. Uh, I think these are really just for show over here. Man, that, uh, that really looks cool. Alright, so... That's gonna be your hits. That's gonna be your ships. So, if I were to go... I guess, let's highlight one, two, three... Oh, three, four... 
Does that mean I've used one of the ships over here? I guess you have to... I don't know, I see actual logic on that. I think that's just for show, though. Okay, so... We'll say we have like that. Let's place the two ship over here. Let's go with the three here. And then we need, what, a three? Or is it a three? Or let's see, one, two, one, two, three, one, two... I guess there's two threes. So let's go one, two, three. All right, so technically, I think we've placed them all. Actually, there should be a five in there. All right, so there's a five. Let's go one, oh, two, three, four, five. All right, so that's where my ships are. So I can hit on third board. Oh, that makes a noise. Oh, that is actually really cool. So what happens when they get a hit? So let's say B1. So if you're the other player over here, you go with B1. Oh, that shows your hits. So if you hit up here, that's not a hit, but boom, boom. Do you get something for an actual sink? Oh, it shows up down here too. Actually, oh, that is a complete sink. So let's go with H and we'll go all the way across. I didn't hear if there was a, a special tone played for a sink, so let's go. No, it's just the same tone. That's so handy. And really, there's no mess. There's no like welding ships and stuff like that. It's all based on the pegs. I like that. I believe I've got everything. Okay, so this is all for show over here. So to reset the game, all you have to do is literally put it on the lift and stick it down here. And it's good to go. You're ready for another round of Battleship. That is so awesome. Now, just a. Uh, oh boy. That is. Oh, that is, a, that is a mess. How does somebody have the patience to hook this up? Uh, I remember, I think my most complicated creation, what was it? Maybe one of the farm bot busters that I made that kind of transformed and it had a really, really big spider web. And I thought that was really frustrating, but then I look at something like this and I go, how? How do you see through all the pink and red and grays, blues, uh, purples? Yeah, no, I don't see how you do this. It's great though. I mean, it must be done like one piece at a time. I suppose maybe you could do one side and then weld it back to the other. I don't know. I'll have to ask uh, Garbuckle about that. That is awesome though. I really like that game. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Scrap Mechanic. It was uh, pretty epic. All the creations were absolutely fantastic. Uh, they will be linked down in the description if you want to play with anything that you saw. I highly suggest doing that AI battle with the plane because that was... That's the most fun I've had by myself in Scrap Mechanic in a long time, so that was awesome. Uh, we might be able to bring that to multiplayer hopefully soon. But yeah, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support in Scrap Mechanic, and we will see you guys next time.